it's very very good and right here so after 2018 chinese brand huawei was set to become the largest mobile phone brand in the world suddenly we started hearing rumors that the u.s will ban the company and in 2019 the u.s officially blacklisted huawei and this was the very beginning of its issues in the phone market at the moment though u.s tech is the hub of mobile phones in the world take for instance android and ios they are from the united states even major chip manufacturers like tsmc use american technologies in the manufacturing process thus if u.s says a mobile phone brand cannot use its technology then that brand will probably go under and the same thing was done with huawei so if you don't know since the ban like from 2019 huawei has been holding on to its own it had to stop producing current chips and also sold its owner sub brand even after the ban the company still became the largest mobile phone brand in the world however its stays at the top was short-lived because it is not sustainable so despite all the issues huawei has shown nothing but strength reiterating that it will not exit the mobile phone market even at some points huawei's president reveals that the company is not competing in other mobile phones he claims that huawei just wants to survive indeed it has been surviving but it appears some mobile markets are not worth it anymore so yeah finally and sadly huawei is all set to abandon or as you can say exit the european market well this is mainly because of the ban and within china the us ban means very little or nothing you can say because china does not use google mobile services for example play store gmail maps etc thus blocking what is not being used makes no difference however outside of china it is obviously a no-go area for huawei that users cannot do without the google play store there are relevant app ecosystems that users will need and they cannot get them although there are some workarounds to installing the play store on huawei devices users are not so keen they keep asking why can they just be like everyone and choose the play store normally thus they rather change the brand than use a workaround so yeah Due to all these issues, rumors are popping up that Huawei is deciding to permanently leave the European market very soon. There are a lot of other reasons, one of which is people in Europe sees Huawei as a national security threat, which they are not. Because I myself used Huawei phones from my childhood, but I don't know what makes it a security threat because Huawei smartphones are very best in all departments. Anyway, that is a sad news though. What do you think about it? Well, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.